Johnny Fontana, Real World NF Scorpio, back with another video. Today I want to talk about the INFJ awkwardness that comes or that follows standing up to bullies, right? Um, let me go ahead and give you a, a quick uh, insight onto what happened, right? I, I think I've told you before, I basically... Um, I'm at this course and been dealing with uh, a couple guys who have sort of been irritating me, right? Um, you know, one of 25 who I'd mentioned has this like sort of INFP tendencies. I don't know if he's an INFP or not, but he's very always trying to figure me out. Um, and he does certain things to like gain my attention because he knows that I'm actually pretty deep, insightful. Um, he always wants to, to like listen in to my, like whenever I'm mentoring someone else, because this is a management course. So when I'm giving someone else some advice, you know, um, in terms of the job, he wants to listen in. And I remember I was talking to him about, you know, um, someone else and he asked me, oh, are you a psychologist? Um, but, uh, there is this, and I think I'll make another video or maybe I might clump this in. Um, I might clump this in as far as FE is concerned, controlling your FE. Um, there's this other clingy guy who I talked about. He's having problems, you know, with um, his 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 wife. Uh, she's not allowing him to uh, call his children, and she's and and she's laid up, you know, at her boyfriend's house, whatever. So, and she they're about to get divorced. So, and he's been very clingy, you know, um, to the point where he, and he's very intrusive, like to the other guy that, with, that I told you who has an INFP tendency. Um, he, the clingy guy went up to his room because, you know, we're, we're all staying at a hotel. And he went to his room and he was like, hey, you know, leave, leave my stuff here. Can I leave my stuff in your room for some reason? And it's like, you'll do, like you have your own room, you know, like just very, this guy's like 30 years old, you know. Always, he can't have lunch on his own. He has to be around people. So, um, but I, like I said, I knew that he was having issues and I was the first person to say, hey, listen, I'm there for you. Don't worry about it, you know? And you know how we have a tendency of being very patient, right? Like I, I ignore a lot of the jokes and the banter, which is funny because they think I don't realize any of that. Like sometimes he'll come across and he'll sit next to me and he'll be like, you know, he'll say certain things, you know, talking to the other guy who says has INFP tendencies. I just call him Rick, just so that I don't have to keep saying that. So let's say Bobby. Bobby's a clingy one and, and Rick is the other one. So Bobby will uh come and, and he'll sit next to next to uh to Rick and you know, if I come into the room, you know, let's say after after lunch and I don't say anything. Oh, how come you don't say anything? It's like, bro, like, why are you investing your time, like, worrying about me, you know? Um, or if, like, I'm asking some deep questions, you know, with regards to just, like, how, you know, the, the logistics aspects are supposed to be ran with different, you know, when coordinating with different divisions, federal agencies, whatever. They'd be like, oh, his head is hot, you know? He's, he's going there. And it's like, to the point where, like, it doesn't bother me. But it's like, dude, like, you just, you're being very immature for, like, 30-year-old, you know? And, and, but it's funny because the guy, Rick, who I says, again, has an INFP tendency, he would normally come to class, like, seven, 15 minutes early, you know, we start class. And then he now would wait till the, till the last minute to come to class because every time he would normally come to class, Bobby would be waiting for him next to his seat. Right, and so he got tired of it. So instead of telling Bobby or telling you know Bobby, your bro, like, stop being so clingy, he just like waits till you know um, the last minute. And I'm like, how do you live your life like this? And um, it's even to the point where like he blocked him. Like we're all in the same class, but he blocked him because I guess he over the weekend he didn't want him to call him. And, you know, he blocked him from Wednesday until Tuesday. And then when we were going to study, and then he unblocked them so he can call them so that they can study together. And I'm like, you, both of you are like weirdos, you know, like, but the masculine, I mean, they're, you know, they don't seem like, like very 
weak guys, but you know, they're regular, regular men. And it's just weird. Like they're very, they're veterans. They were in the military and I'm like, yo, you guys are acting very funny. Like be upfront and, 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 you know, be, be straightforward with people. And so finally last week, I, um, I'm getting to, I'm, I'm getting to the point of the video last week. I, um, was asking a serious question. It's like whenever I'm asking my serious questions, I'm like, hey, don't butt out. Don't butt in. And you can tell like when you're asking some some deep questions, other people sort of like they start to like move around a little bit because they're like, oh, there he goes again, you know? And because again, a lot of people aren't really into complex issues like I am. They're into their own complex issues, right? That has more to do with like physical logic and so forth. I'm more into like understanding like the abstract, the bigger, what ifs and that. So a lot of people aren't interested because it just takes a lot of time and effort with the nuances and so forth. So we just have different ways of thinking, right? So um, I was asking a question and I was like, hey, but you know, I observe this, but I don't see this always being here. So what, what, what's going on with that issue here? Um, and Bobby, the one who's clingy, kept on interrupting. Well, you know, that's not your scope. You know, that, that's not your area. Um, you know, your, your, what do you call it again? Your, your, your area of responsibility. So don't worry about it. And I was like, yeah, yeah I know. But I mean, I just want to know, I wanted to get a, a better understanding and the instructor wasn't, you know, given a really deep, um, explanation. So I just wanted to know. And then, so he was trying to butt in again. And, and I, I finally blew up on your bow. Listen. Like, I'm talking to the instructor. I don't need for you to be imposing your personal views. I'm trying to figure out the way that I figure out, okay? Because when I have to go back to the office, I have to now, you know, this is a new challenge for me. So I need to know that I'm going to be, be able to, you know, learn this. And it was a, a different approach because with him, I've always been like, you know how sometimes we can be very passive. Just let it, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Because I'm not into the whole, you know, playing with people i don't play well you know i don't do the whole you know being humorous and joking with people i don't get so familiar with you that i can joke around with you because i'm just that's not me it's i'm zero to 60 um and if i met my threshold but it's weird because now after that after that happened we went to lunch and then i came back and i was talking to you know the, the other guy rick and uh, I had told them, hey, just to give you a heads up, you know, um, I didn't mean to, you know, whatever. And he's the type of guy when you talk when you talk to him, he'll, he'll when you try to when you, when you put him on a spot, he'll quickly ask you some weird question. So I asked him, I said, do you understand what, he, what I was well, what I meant by that, right? And he was like, yeah, yeah, I guess. So I was like, no, no, do you understand what I mean by that? Yeah. Oh, do you drink all that water? So I'm like, all right, dude, I'm not going to press it. But the fact that you you bypass that and you think I don't notice these things, like, you know, shows you, you know, proves, proves that you really don't know, you know, who you're dealing with. But I'm going to let you go. I'm not going to force you. I'm not going to press you because you seem like another NF. So I'll give you that courtesy and I'm not going to whatever. Um, But he, as so I told him, I said, but hey, just give you a heads up, like, what about old dude? He was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, I think he felt a certain way, you know, about whatever. And I said, but hey, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to go after him and, and, uh, apologize or anything like that. Because again, it's like, if you, you snap on someone, it's like, okay, you snap on someone. It doesn't always, there doesn't always need to be, you know, this whole, oh, my bad for snapping at you or whatever. It's like, you're both like, you're an adult. I'm an adult. Do you mess with me? I mess with you. Okay, it's fine. There's no need for that extra weird, hey, bro, I'm sorry if I snapped at you. I mean, I know under certain com certain conditions, but if you're always snapping at me, not snapping at me, but if you're always playing with me or if you're whatever, and finally when I get upset, I'm not going to come at you and be like, oh, bro, I'm sorry. It's like, you that's what you, you deserved. Um, but what's, f and he was like, yeah, he told me, yeah, I snapped at him. I, I snap at him all the time. And that's when he told me that he actually blocked him. And I was like, yeah, bro, why would you block a guy that you see every day? You know, last Wednesday, I get over the weekend, but you know, cause I guess he was, he wanted to watch the, the, the Super Bowl in his own room. And, and Bobby kept on, you know, it was like, Hey, I'm going to come watch it in your room too with you. 
And he's like, yo, dude, like, like, you know, it's just very weird. So, but after that, the guy, Bobby, okay, the one who I told you, very clingy, um, but always messing with me, always like joking with me. And like, every time I walk in, if I don't say hi, hey, how come you don't say hi to people? Like, just very investing his time into me, whatever. He did a 360. Like, totally just like, you can tell, like, like the same way how he was having issues when I told you before that um, he was having, having issues with his uh, his wife and, like, they were about, you know, the, the, the lawyers told him that they were about to take, you know, half of his pension, you know, it's going to go to his wife and all that stuff. Like, that's how, like, when I felt like, oh, dude, he's going to some stuff, that's how he felt. Like, he was, like, his world was just so shot by the fact that I actually blew up on him. And you could tell, like, his world just fell apart. And so, when we were leaving, I took one route, and he took another route, and then we sort of came together. And I was just, I was like, you know, what's up? And I was like, oh, man, I'm tired. And the guy didn't even respond at all. And then, like, the next day, um, you know, we came to class. Like, he didn't even come back. He would normally come back to sit. He didn't even come back. And uh, as we were leaving, you know, for the day, you know, I just did that, you know, and he did that. But it was like, you know, and the thing is for me is like, I'm making sure that I don't act like this is any weird because I'm like, I'm not going to let you know that what you're doing is weird, but I feel it. I see it. It's very awkward and like, I'm starting to feel bad. But even so then, like I, I called like one of my mentors, you know, who's very, he, he really gets it. And I was like, yo, dude, like. I don't get it, man. Like, what's up with this? Like, 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 I feel like I'm alone in this. Like, like, I'm trying to get this understanding and people like want to like always impose and butt in when I'm trying to ask questions and then I blow up on them. But then I feel like alone, you know, like that's like into that weird space. And But he was able to provide me some perspective. He was like, hey, bro, like these guys are not on your level. And it's not to toot my horn, but it's true. Like, it's like I'm in it for a different reason. Like, you know, like, I've gotten some mentorships, like, you know, like my position is, is a little different than theirs, you know, so I have more responsibility, so I need, and the, the way that I think is more, you know, and you can tell, like, I'm in it for, like, the real love, like, this is, you know, and he was like, yeah, like, this just, he's like, he's had that, he's had those battles, and sometimes, um, you're just gonna have to just let them know what's on your mind, you know, and you can't hold back and provide that perspective. And but you also need to set the tone for the other folks who are coming into this management course who don't have the experience and but may need, you know, for you to to voice your opinion so that you can demonstrate and show them, hey, this is what it's all about, you know. Like for me, like when I do for other INFJ males, it's like. You know, this whole INFJ friendly thing. Yeah, sometimes, bro, like, if you're not standing up for yourself, you're going to get ran over, you know. And, and the more you are in, you encounter these things, you know. So, but it, it's just a weird feeling, you know. And I also call my dad, too. And, I, again, like, these things so, bother me so bad that in private, I call, like, the people who are close to me. Like, I, I, I call my wife. And because it's just very, it disrupts me. You know what I'm saying? Like, in, in the moment. Like, you won't even know. Like, I'll be like, I'm cool. I'm good. I'm good. But inside, I'm like, oh, man. Like, I can't believe this dude. Now I feel bad. And I'm like, oh, should I reach out to him? You know, and all that. You start to get in. But you're like, no, don't reach out. Okay, because that's part of the process. That's part of you learning as well. It's part of you saying, no, nah, dude. Like, hey, you got to be strong. Because when people mess with you, now if you go back and you start to hold, hey, you know, are you okay? Then you're going to open. That's what my dad told me. My dad told me, he was like, if he's that kind of guy, like when, if the other guy, like, whatever, did, you know, blew up on him last time, and then he came back again, he's still doing the clean stuff, he's one of those people who don't really learn, you know, so if you go back and you open the doors, it's like narcissists, right, you give him that light, they're going to come right back and jump on you, so just chill, so even this weekend, he didn't even call, I didn't hear anything from him, I didn't hear a thing, um, and like, it's just really awkward and weird but i guess you know the whole the, the idea of this video is to say that yeah like you know if you're one of those people who 
people tend to like take advantage of. Um, early on in life, yeah, it will happen. But as you get older, you know, like I'm not into that whole playing around. I don't get familiar with people. I'm not good with witty banter and so forth. And so that's why I'm, I become more serious, right? So I don't allow that, you know? And then, but if you do it, hey, I'll let you do it. I'll let you do it. I'll let you do it. But then when I'm to the point where I've reached that threshold, and what's funny though, is that I was, I was asking, he kept on doing it. And in my mind, like it, it played out. I'm like, this guy's ex is, you know, like, let me relax. Let me not do it. Because if I blow up on this guy, if I black out, um, it's going to be bad and the whole entire dynamic, our relationship is going to change. And I knew it because again, like that's what, that's part of the intuition. Like when you meet someone like, 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 like him in the past, I've blown up because I've just gotten so irritated by these people and then the whole dynamic, the relationship. And so I really saw what was going to happen, but I was, but because I'm older, I'm like, let me just relax. Let me not, you know, let me not get familiar with the guy. So that the guy doesn't do these things. And that's why I never really hung out with him on the weekends. But lo and behold, it did happen. But I knew it was going to happen. You know what I'm saying to you? So that's why it's like the reason why I'm, I'm sort of like kind of awkward and weird. is because I knew it was going to happen. But I didn't think it was going to happen. And I tried so hard not for it to happen. But and again, it's like, but then you wonder, well, then how did you allow it to happen? It's because of the fact that other people do it. Other people, but here's the thing, other people do it, right? Like, we do it to each other, like me and my wife, like last night, like yesterday, I had a big blowout with her, I was yelling at her, you know, over the phone, and then I was like, oh, yeah, I said, now we're back, because you know, we're not together, I was like, all right, now I feel good, now we're, no, no. now this seems, seems familiar, and you started laughing, because it was just like, yeah, like you, you yell at each other, and then all of a sudden, like, and then do it. So I've talked to her like two, three times already. You know, since since yesterday, I talked to her today. We called. You know, we talked about you know different stuff about you know uh, moving the cars and all that stuff, as if nothing happened. You know, so I'm saying to you, but he made it awkward by instead of just being like, oh, like dude, like why'd you get all like? I was like, I could have been like, hey, dude, like it was just like you know, it's like at one point, it's just like you gotta just stop. It's like I'm asking a question, it's like just butt out. If he had done that and came up to me like, yo, dude, like, why'd you have to get so, like, you know, butt hurt for? Like, well, or whatever. I'm like, I'm not butt hurt. It's just, you know, it's whatever. But yeah, I'm cool, whatever. And then it passes over. He didn't take that approach. His approach was to totally shut down. So now when he shuts down now, now it makes things awkward for me now. Now I can't, like, be, you know? Now I'm reflecting on the stuff that I said. Or maybe I shouldn't have said that. Maybe I went too hard. Or maybe I did this. And then it's like, oh, dude, man. You know what I'm saying to you? So, but the thing is, is that you're just going to have to just push through it, bro. Push through it. Push through it. Like, don't let people bother you. Don't let, you know. And again, like I was saying before, like, it's people do it. Like, you snap at people. But it's it's a lot of these people who take advantage. It's, if they respond a, a certain way, then it makes things awkward for you. Because if he had just acted normally, he's like, all right, dude, like you don't have to get so whatever. Like, all right, I'm cool, I'm cool. And then it passes over. And then you're not dwelling, you're not thinking about that. But because now he's making it all awkward and he shuts down and he doesn't want to talk to you and now he's afraid of you, now it makes things awkward for us because I'm not one of those people who just be like, yeah, fuck you and then out and that's it. And I'm done. And I don't, you know, like my father said, yeah, like, you know, if that was the case with me, I would never talk to the guy again. I'm like, yeah, but I'm not like that. Like, that's you. You're an NTP. Like, you can normally just do that kind of stuff. I'm not. Like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a nice guy. You know what I'm saying to you? So, just, it's good, but it's bad. Like, it's good because you need this. Like, I need this. Like, if I don't get this. Then I, I'll, I'll, I'll will I'll will turn away, and then I'll be very and people will take advantage of me. Like, I wouldn't say take advantage of me, but they'll they'll think that they could, they don't think that they can, you know. Um, so that's why I need these things in order to help me think these things out and to now start to better understand. So the next time I see someone like that, I'll know to sort of like hold back because again, like during the process, it's funny because. We can hold so many different um, 
ideas in our, in our mind. So as I'm concentrating on that instructor, this guy's doing the same thing. He's like, button, you know, oh, yeah. Because you know how sometimes like they'll tag team on you? Like when you're trying to ask a deep question and you're like, no, 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 no. But I really want to get that. And it's like, hey, don't worry about it. Stop asking so deep questions. I'm getting, you know, from him. I'm getting from him. And it's like, at, at the same time, I'm like, I'm trying to like, hey, bro, shut up. You shut up. And then I'm trying to get her, but like you're not really defending me. You're not ask, you're not answering my question. You're not really getting there. You're just allowing these people to just to freaking avoid instead of being the instructor and 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 um you know creating that whatever. You're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. But at the same time, I'm thinking, dude, relax. Don't go there. Don't go there. Don't go there. Don't go there. But then at one point, I was like, you know what, man? Just go there. You need it in your life. And I said. Ah! Motherfucker! I mean, I didn't curse, whatever, but I was like, yo, it's a rap, dude. Hey, I'm trying to have a conversation with her. Please stop imposing your personal views on me. I have a certain way of learning. If you can't, whatever. And then I was like, Phew. and everyone was like, Phew. and even like the other folks who were like a little bit, you know, like alpha, alpha, um, like, they didn't want to talk to me after that. They were like very careful when they, when they were talking to me. Um, because people were like, ooh, I don't know where that, that where it came from. So, yeah, but now it feels awkward because guess what? You realize that those other, and you start to realize, yeah, like those other folks, yeah, even though they act like it too, but they're really like, they got that soft spot in them. You know, like they're very, they're soft, you know, um, because, and like they don't speak up on certain things. They're very timid. Like when you ask them to do certain things, they'll, they'll avoid it. You know, well, I'm be to be the one. No, no, let's go ahead and do it. You know, um, again, not because I'm willing, because I'm just so extroverted, but because I do it because I know other people want me to do it, and they're looking, you know, at me to do it. So I, I do it to help other people, um, and to demonstrate competency. You know, to be like, hey, you know, you can do it, but then they won't do it. But again, it's also because of just my experience. I've been in the game for a while. You know, I'm 41 years old. I can't be timid, you know, for all my life. I mean, at, at one point in time, you have to grow out of your shell and be, become, you know, more. But I'm not 20 years old. I'm not 25 years old. I'm married with kids. You know, I have a career. I can't just be always timid all the time. And if you know that you're timid and you're, and you have, you're watching all these videos on how not to be timid, at one point in time, you need to stop being timid. You can't watch all these videos on self-help and then, and, then, <laughs> and then not actually change, you know? But yeah, I just wanted to discuss that, man. It's just... And like tomorrow, tomorrow, I'm going to have to see the guy again, actually, because I'm leaving. Tomorrow's our last day. And I don't know how it's going to be. Like, if he's going to, like, you know, I'm going to like... Like, hey, because I was supposed to give him a ride. I don't know if he's going to give him a ride anymore. He's probably not going to ask me for a ride. It's like, oh, I don't want to have to deal with this, man. Why can't people just be normal, man? Just be normal. And that's why, like, with INFJ, it's like, that's why you have to be normal, too. Because then it's like, it creates this chaos and it's this weird mess, bro. Like, ah, just stickiness, bro. It's like, stop it, you know? Mm. But just by looking at me, interacting me, well, you would never know this This is here. And I'm only being with you guys, right? But no one else knows this stuff, bro. Nobody knows. My father knows. My wife knows. But other than that, that's what we do, bro. We're the INFJs, man. Number one rule to be an INFJ is never let them know that you're hurting. Johnny Fontana, Real World, NF Scorpio, we out.